Hi everyone, um, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on a Halloween Facebook cover page, okay? So we'll start off with create new because we're creating a new kind of an artboard that we need to um, push particular dimensions on so that they'll fit perfectly into a Facebook cover page. So um, currently the best size to have a Facebook cover page is 820 pixels by 312 pixels. So just bear in mind that this must be pixels. So 820 by 312, okay? And usually for print, or for sorry, for digital, I would recommend 150 pixels per inch, okay? So you might need to change that again. 72 is fine, but I just always like to have a good resolution. Okay, and I would leave everything else as is. So press create. And you should have a, a horizontal um, kind of a canvas like so. Okay, so um, a control plus to zoom in, control minus to zoom out. Okay, um, I'm going to open up my layers panel window and layers just so that I have it here beside me. Uh, I want to make this these layers a bit bigger so I can see them better. Uh, so if I right click underneath in this empty space, I can go to like medium or large thumbnails and it just makes it a little bit easier to see my layers here. Okay, so I'm going to leave the background there. It's fine. It's not going to bother me. And sorry, excuse me. I'm on crop at the moment, so by default, when I clicked the screen, it has brought up the crop handle. So I'll just go back to my move tool. Okay, I'm going to file and place. Okay, and I have some files and um, sorry, file and place embedded. And I have some files in the drive. Okay, so we looked at some of these and I have some more. And I'm going to put on the forest picture. I'm going to place that in the background. So I'm going to drag out the corners like so until I'm kind of happy with the placement. Then I kind of want a little bit of green in it. Okay, and press enter. Okay, so as we just dis discussed in class, you will need to rasterize the layer. So at the moment, it's got this little icon on the right hand side, which means you have very little editing capabilities. So for example, if I went to, um, sorry, if I went to erase something here, so it wouldn't let me, do you see that? It wouldn't let me without rasterizing it. So you can either try to do something, and when you click, it'll give you the option, okay? Or you can rasterize it right here by right clicking on this rasterize layer. So I forest on my background now. You can see that usually the layer is named after the image is being saved as on your um, computer. So I'm going to file and place embedded now, and I'm going to select the moon image. Okay, I'm going to put this up on the corner here. Okay. Now at the minute I've got a kind of black edge on it, which I don't like. So again, I need to rasterize it. Right click and rasterize there. But I'm going to start playing with these blending modes that we discussed. So you can see that by default it's on normal. And if I click on this arrow, I can hover over until I can see what sort of effects it will bring. So lighting works well for me. It will really depend, the screen works well, it will really depend on um, what image is underneath and if you have any effects on the, the underneath as well. So let me see. So every time you do an exercise like this, you might get different results. I think I'm going to go with exclusion. So you're saying, what is going on here? I've got a moon and I've got a forest scene. I'm going to file and I'm going to place a budget and I'm going to put in this space scene. Okay, again I'm going to stretch it out and then I'm going to press enter when I'm happy. Okay, if 
I think I'm gonna actually move that underneath the moon. Okay. But I want to put an effect on this as well. So I'm gonna hover again. Do something here. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Ooh. I think I'm going to go with that one, hard light. So you can see that I have three layers here. I didn't rasterize this one. I'm going to rasterize it now, just so that I do have some editing capabilities. So you can see, if I turn off each layer one at a time, the moon, there it is, the space, there it is, and the forest underneath. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of work with the moon. I'm going to use the eraser tool to ever so slightly soften out the clouds at the edges here. So I'm still on the eraser tool here. When I hover on my screen, my brush would say is very small. So I'm going to right click and increase the size of it. And I'm going to bring the hardness right down to zero because I want it really soft. So when I hover here now, you can kind of see I might make it bigger. Like so. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Now, sorry, undo. So you can see here on the little thumbnail, I clicked on the screen there and it deleted a little bit of the space because I was on the wrong layer. So I'm going to go back to the wrong here and I'm going to kind of start deleting. Okay. Now, I might also change the opacity of the eraser too to like 50%. See, so do you see it's not making such a big feel. So it's doing it ever so subtly. And another thing that I might do here is I might change the opacity. So I might bring it down to like 60%. Perfect. Okay. 